chances are slim, yet Captain Midnight fights through to the end. Trapped by Ivan Shark at his hideout, Midnight escapes, only to be snared again by the master criminal's treachery.
take me away. I'll have you out of here in no time, but I mustn't overlook the chance to investigate this place. Summoned help. Well, what about the girl? We'll have to let her go for now. <gasps> the police. Back inside. We'll have to bluff. We've waited too long. They've destroyed everything and escaped. We've got to get to a phone and warn Major Steele of that bombing attack. Come on, Joyce. We must hurry.
Hey, Hey, Borgman, you're late. You'd be late, too. If... Hey, man, hurry up. The radio's blinking. We only got two legs. Headquarters ready. Come in, S1. Well, it's about time you answered. Are all the men there? Yes, Master. All planes ready for bombing. Awaiting orders. Put number seven on. Come in. Come in, number seven. Number seven ready. Come in, Chief. Well, get this straight. Cancel bombing raid for the moment. Government men warned. Number seven, you and number eight take off. Get over to Grand Peak Road from Greer Hideout. Jury has girl prisoner, and her car is being followed by Captain Midnight. Stop him at all costs. Jury's capture would be fatal to our plans. Remember, Midnight is in second car. Get it? Come in. Got it. Midnight in second car. I'll take off at once. Anything else? Port here at conclusion of job. I'll be waiting. Don't worry. Our bomb site is perfect. Uh, you hurry him, boys. The raid's over. Borgman and I on a special assignment. Uh, uh, the raid is over. safety? Are these men assured of success? You'll learn the answers in Shells of Evil, next week's gripping chapter of Captain Midnight.